So let us begin. Let us begin this evening. Maybe you brought candles. Maybe you brought sunflower seeds. Maybe you just brought your own self and that was all you could handle today. And boy, do we ever understand that. <clears throat> So tonight we are honoring, again, the all the work for peace that is going on around the world, and especially we're focusing on Ukraine and the very specific suffering that's going on there. And I know it's impacting all of us, whether we know it or not. And um, so I dedicate this evening to you and to us, all the people who are far enough away that one can sort of feel like I don't, I'm not thinking about this all the time. This is not weighing me down, but we know it is. Just as COVID weighs us down, just as any ripple in the family community weighs us down, right? Because we're just connected to each other. So, and I want to dedicate it to just to some people I've heard about this week. I think you all know about the amazing, brave Russian film, um, newscaster who disrupted a newscast to carry an anti-war sign in front of the camera saying no war and also made a very strong um, statement she had created ahead of time saying I've been working for this agency I've been spreading propaganda I've been lying I am totally ashamed you are being lied to get out in the streets I mean this is a woman who may never see the light of day again you know this is high risk as we know so I want to dedicate this to her and also to the reporter, uh, the U.S. reporter, who's done so much good work in Eastern Europe and the Ukraine. I'm sorry I don't have his name, Anne, you probably know it, but um, uh, I want to honor him who was shot and killed th this past week. And then we're holding all the children. We're holding just all the people fleeing with nothing. And I want to expand this out way beyond the Ukraine because I want to hold the children and the people of Yemen the people of Afghanistan, who we bombed for quite a bit, the people of um, Iraq, who we invaded and bombed, and the world did not turn out in droves to plant sunflowers and send money and wait at the refugee uh, borders with baby strollers. And it just shocks and, and wounds us to know that, that um, so many other parts of the world are getting bombed and hurt and it's not being risen to. But that said, that said, um, we're here to lift up the beauty of our compassion and our hearts and the courage of the peacemakers. I also want to just welcome any folks who are here for the first time. If you are here for the first time, I'd love to see your hands. Anyone? I, mean, I know if you're not on camera, I won't see them. But um, I know there was people who heard me at a couple of different events this week relating to Thich Nhat Hanh, who might be here, and I just want to say a warm welcome to you all. So this is our Twilight and Lullaby session, which is a more reflective and quiet one, and we're going to be blessed with the amazing, amazing instrumental music of Debbie Fire and her chanting as well. She'll be on in just a little bit, but I'd like to start with our traditional opening to this night. If you didn't get lyrics in your uh, reminder, then they will be, there's a link in the chat or will be in just a minute. And then we'll just begin. Let me just get rid of one thing here. My screen is a little messy. <laughs> so hard to find the things when you want them. Okay, never mind. I can do it without the words. Evening falls, the day is ending. All my work and everything else, I lay it down. Sing with me. Evening falls, the day is ending. All my work. Let it rest until tomorrow. Evening falls, day is done. Lay it down, your every burden. Evening shadows gather round. Come, sweet night. Gentle darkness, evening falls, lay it down. Let's do it again. Evening falls. 
sweet night and gentle darkness day is done lay it down come sweet night come sweet night and gentle darkness day is Thank you, my friends. And I see Joanna has a beautiful sunflower in front of her screen. Scroll around if you're on um, galleries till you can find the beautiful sunflower. And in a moment, we'll all hold up our candles as well. Let's do one more song together. Return again, return again. Return to the land of your soul. I thought of this, I love this song, and it's always such a good song for any of us. But I really thought of it in terms of so-called world leaders who seem so deluded, so in another realm of delusion and ego and I'm sure fear underneath it all that makes them do outrageous, violent things. So let's sing especially that those who really need to return to the land of their soul be called to it. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul again. Return again, return again, return to
that still small voice that calls us. If you have a candle, please bring it to the screen if you can. We're going to go into a beautiful, beautiful time of meditation, um, meaning simply quiet reflection, breathing, relaxing your body, returning to your soul. And Debbie Fire is going to transport us with her handpan music. So I thought we'd start with our candles just to shine them out for the world, for each other, for peace, for the Ukraine, and for whatever's in your heart that is hurting and needs light. We all have our private lives and our private pains. So let this candle be for you and for the world. And Debbie, I'm not gonna introduce her right now. She's just going to lead us into that place of peace.
Wage peace. Wage peace with your breath. Breathe in firemen and rubble. Breathe out whole buildings and flocks of red-winged blackbirds. Breathe in terrorists and breathe out sleeping children and freshly mown fields. Breathe in confusion and breathe out maple trees. Breathe in the fallen and breathe out lifelong friendships intact. Wage peace with your listening, hearing sirens pray loud. Remember your tools, flower seeds, clothespins, clean rivers. Make soup, play music, memorize the words for thank you in three languages. Learn to knit and make a hat. Think of chaos as dancing raspberries. Imagine grief as the outbreath of beauty or the gesture of a fish. Swim for the other side. Wage peace. Never has the world felt so fresh and precious. Have a cup of tea and rejoice. Act as if armistice had already arrived. Celebrate today. Thank you, Debbie. My pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for holding that space together so beautifully. Um, Debbie Fire is an old friend, old, old musical friend, and, and we have other outside relationships that are really precious. And I think you've heard, I don't need to say how magical her music is. This is like nothing I've ever heard. Her um, beautiful CD is called Wave. What is it? Waterways. Water wave. Waterways with uh, Jamie Sieber on cello. So it's hand pan mm -hmm. and cello and really relaxing, calming music to meditate to, move to, whatever yeah. you need to it do. Is, it is. I listen to it so much. Yeah. Debbie also leads music at Kahila um, Synagogue here in Oakland. And she has become, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, an amazing wildlife <laughs> photographer. Amazing. And she has a calendar that's just beautiful. Uh, we've put her URL, her uh, contact in the, um, in the chat. If you want to see a beautiful calendar, get in touch with Debbie. <laughs> so Debbie and I are going to be weaving, as you can tell, poetry, sound. It's just kind of a, an interesting, fun improv, sort of. I mean, it's very scripted, but it's sort of an improv. So... I have, one, I have a new song for you all, not mine, but somebody that I, I know, haven't run into him for a long time, and this song crossed my path. I thought, this is the perfect song for tonight. It's in your lyrics, and it's called One World. And I'll teach you the chorus, and then the verses all have the same melody, so once you know the chorus, you've got the whole song down. Please, okay, I can't look at the chat. Please don't chat me. I'm, I'm about to sing. <laughs> I forgot to announce that we beg of you not to chat during the singing, the music, the poetry. Um, it's really distracting. And um, I just, just save, it's fine to chat. Just wait till we're just yakking or something. Okay. So here we go. Here's how it goes. One World by Mike Stern, old Seattle friend. One world where we all live together. Oh, that's a little low. Let me pump it up one. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 
one world where we all live together one sun shining on you and me one ocean flows into another one day we all will be free one day feel comfortable. There's plenty of choruses to get comfortable with. One moment can change a whole lifetime. One life can change eternity. One stranger befriended. One broken heart mended. One child loved. One captain captive set free one child loved one captive set free sing with me one world one world where we all live together one sun shining on you and me one ocean biblical song. One day when the lamb and the lion and our pride and our anger lie down. Weapons to plowshares, a joy that dissolves fears, a love that unites us as one. together. Be brave. Sing it out. One world where we all live together. One sun shining on you and me. One ocean flows into another. One day we all will be free. One day
friend um, sent me a beautiful picture today of a bridge between the Ukraine between Ukraine and Romania. Uh, it was a pedestrian bridge, and refugees were allowed over it. And there was lined up along this bridge toys, little toys, little stuffed animals, little dolls, little toy trucks for the children so that as they crossed the bridge from Ukraine to Romania, they could take a toy with them. I was also told of people waiting, I believe, perhaps in Germany or in Poland for refugees crossing the border. They awaited them not only with signs saying, I have one room in my house, I have two rooms in my house, but with empty baby strollers. Like, I can't say this without crying. So that people carrying small children would have a baby stroller to put them in. You know, the horrors of what human beings can do is so ever so much more balanced by the audacious love and generosity and creativity of human beings. So I love those stories. This is a poem from a child in Yemen, a country that, as you know, has been bombed mercilessly by um, Saudi Arabia and other, other sources like that, and we are funding it, and we're not saying, a, a, what do they say, a mumbling word. We're not saying a mumbling word about the, the outrage there. So here's a poem from a child there. I am a child who loves peace. I have always believed in peace until I saw something on TV, something not expected at all. I saw on the screen war and destruction. I saw children sleeping in tents. They lost the embrace and protection of their parents. I saw children who are as skinny as ghosts. I saw schools and parks empty of children. I cried from what I saw, and I went to the source of love, my father. I asked him, where did peace go? Where are schools and parks? Where is medicine? And where is food? Thank you so much, Debbie. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I just love this. I think, you know, uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, how many of us knew that uh, the sunflower was the national flower of Ukraine? Not me. And even though I think that symbol up on my wall is actually the sun, I choose to think of it as a sunflower because my they look just the same. So I invited you, if you wanted to, to bring a sunflower or to bring a sunflower seed. And it doesn't, you know, don't worry if you didn't. Um, I just thought it might feel good among us, just as a symbolic moment of sort of ritual care for our sisters and brothers in Ukraine, um, if we planted some sunflower seeds. So I have this pot um, full of beautiful compost from our garden, our yard. And I went down to the nursery to buy a sunflower, but they're not quite blooming yet in season, at least here. So I got a, a um, pretender. I got a, an imitation. This is a poppy. But, you know, it's beautiful. It's yellow. It's big. And I love it. So it's, it's, it'll do just fine. It's just fine. So I have a couple of sunflower seeds here. Do you, anybody have flower seeds? If you do, oh, let me, I'm going to put myself on gallery for a second. I want to see you. If you do, even if you don't have a pot, hold them up. And um, there's a song we're going to sing in a minute. And I'm going to sing the first verse while we're doing this. So we're going to just raise our seeds. And if you have a pot, put it in. If you don't, just imagine that through the miracle of Zoom, your seed is going to come into my pot. And I'm tapping it down, and I'm putting in another one, and I'm singing, 
I am planting a seed of peace, a seed of peace on earth. Peace in my heart, that's where it starts. I am planting a seed of peace. So again, by the miracles of the power of prayer, we're going to hold these seeds and we're going to send our prayers for peace into them. May these seeds bloom and grow and bring joy to every eye that sees it, every butterfly that tastes it, every bee that suckles it. And may that beauty in our hearts somehow expand beyond anything we could imagine. And let's sing Planting a Seed of Peace. It's in your songbook. I wrote this for children many, many years ago, and then children wrote their own verses. It's quite magical, really. I miss peace on my street. Let's do that. Also from that third grade class. I am planting a seed of peace, a seed of peace on earth. Peace on my street where people can meet. I am planting a seed of peace. The next one, peace out in space. You know, it was written so many years ago, way before the Peace Force and other such nonsense, or the Space Force, excuse me, the Space Force coined by the previous president. So I bless these children who are already thinking about how to keep space safe. I am planting 
a seed of peace, a seed of peace on earth. Peace out in space where no weapons are placed. I am planting a seed of peace. And this I wrote just the other day. A seed of peace, a seed of peace on earth. Peace in Ukraine, peace in Ukraine, in city and plain. I am planting a seed of peace. And sometimes we do this thing that I find very beautiful. I don't know if you do. Where I invite people to stretch out their arms to the edges of your little window. And if everybody touches the edges of their window, you'll see that you're holding hands with someone next to you. As long as you're touching the frame, really stretch them out there. So let's sing the last verse, holding hands on Zoom. I am planting a seed of peace, a seed of peace on earth. Peace in my heart, peace in my heart, that's where it starts. I am planting a seed of peace. I am planting a seed of peace. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you so much. And I'm on a theme of children right this minute, and I want to share this one with you. I've, saw, I've shared it before. It's probably one of my favorite poems in this wonderful collection, Poetry of Presence, Mindfulness Poems. It's called Mimesis by Fadi Judah, in honor of all the refugees from all the countries around the world. My daughter wouldn't hurt a spider that had nested between her bicycle handles. For two weeks, she waited until it left of its own accord. If you tear the down the web, I said, it will simply know this isn't a place to call home and you'd get to go biking. She said, that's how others become refugees, isn't it? Just in case. We were beginning to worry, Mr. Putin, that the world is moving much too fast, really, for us to keep up. You are here to remind us that things may reverse themselves in a heartbeat. A flash, and your time machine has spit us out, dizzy in the dirt. Didn't the wall come down? Didn't we turn the bomb shelters to wine cellars? Did we not declare ourselves over with the old cold thing? No matter. But we remember that long before the fetus's head crowns, it has thrust itself forward over and over and over again into the birth canal then slipped back, slipped back, slipped back to gather strength. So now we are to hold ourselves peaceful in the sure knowledge of the way things are born. 
peaceful, knowing that even your dark womb of blind force and bloodshed will be left behind. Peaceful, knowing the head will crown, then emerge, pause before the shoulders pop, and the whole wild slippery slurp of birth comes shining into the air. Peaceful, knowing that the peace infant will appear. Debbie's going to give us another few minutes to just rest and breathe and absorb and be still and know peace. Please, Deb. loving-kindness. Karuna means compassion. Mudita means joy. And Upeka means balance and stability. These are the four noble qualities of the heart. And those who practice any kind of spiritual path are hopefully cultivating those qualities. So let's
let's sing this together for a few minutes and then Debbie's going to come in and lead us in a, another chant from the Hebrew tradition that is also four words that are very important words. Meta karuna mudita upeka. Meta Zoom, there's a lot of frustrating things, but as you can sing out loud and strong in your own home, nobody's going to know. You can mess up the harmony completely and have a great time, so go for it. Okay, here we go. Meta Karuna. Meta Karuna Mudita about chant before De Debbie comes in because this will really bridge our two pieces. Sorry, Deb, I just thought of this while I was singing. Um, that the whole idea that chanting, singing, praying can actually affect places far away who can't hear, who can't know we're doing it. It may seem very improbable, and it has to me at times, but then I learned about how trees communicate with each other through underground mycelium. Some of you have heard me go on about this at length because it's my passion right now. And they communicate all kinds of things to each other, not only underground, but this is where I've started to believe in the, the travel power of our chanting and singing and praying. They, they pass through the air through their leaves. They pass messages to other trees if there's an infection coming or an infestation of, of insects. There's a tree in Africa that lets its neighbor trees know when the giraffes are coming to eat the leaves that they love so much. So I say if the trees can do it, we can do it, right? So Deb, lead us in chant that will travel around the world. Well, and just to add to that, I like to think when you throw a pebble in the lake and all those waves go, sound waves do that too. So our everything we're putting in, our prayers of peace for people, those waves just keep going out and out and out. Um, so as Betsy said, this is a Hebrew uh, chant song called Ahava, and actually this particular one um, was composed by Bon Singer, who I think maybe was Betsy's guest yes. last a time. few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and so the words Ahava, which is love, Verachamim, compassion, Chesed, which is loving kindness, and Shalom, which is peace. So this really lends itself to lots of harmonies, and I hope, as Betsy said, you will um, really belt them out.
So, and what do those words mean again? Love, mm -hmm. compassion, mindfulness, and peace. Beautiful. Compassion. And I, and I think it's on your lyric sheet. Hopefully yes. people yes. get it. And I'll just say Kahila Synagogue, which I'm part of, has a recording, and it is on that with mm. multitudes of harmonies, which is also really oh, nice to hear. So beautiful. I was harmonizing my brains out. Yay! I was hoping everybody <laughs> oh, was. Yeah, raise your hand if you were harmonizing. <laughs> I bet I know some of you where there's a lot of <laughs> lot of harmonizers out there. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Um, so I want to invite any of you who would like to, to use the chat. And in the chat, put four words that you would want to have in a chat, I mean, in a chant. Four words that you would like to spread around the world, okay? So we're just gonna have a moment of creativity. And while you're doing that, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, because um, you can sing your own chant to either of these tunes, I want to just uh, remind you and mention that we are donating the funds from tonight to uh, the uh, Chef Andre's World Kitchen. And I don't have time to talk about Chef Andre, but he is a trip. I mean, how, who knew there could be a political social justice chef? I mean, I'm sorry, I have my biases. I thought chefs were just a whole other animal. But he's wonderful. And he, they, they are feeding refugees at the Ukrainian border. So we are going to be donating to that tonight. And of course, we're going to be offering a love offering to Deb to support her beautiful, beautiful work in the world. So um, Liz is going to put the PayPal link in the PayPal in the chat and read it carefully because there's a couple of instructions that really make a difference. One is this is a new link, so don't use any of the previous ones. This is a new link. The second one is be sure to select to indicate that you're sending it to a friend or a personal relationship not a business, okay, because that makes a, quite a difference. They take out a chunk if they think you're doing a business. So thank you for doing all that, and let's just take a breath. Thank you for all the chats that are coming in. Let's see, we've got um, a couple of wonderful, many wonderful ideas for words here. Let me scroll down. I'll just read a couple. Um, unity, acceptance, love, empathy. Unity, acceptance, and love, and empathy. See, it's so easy. You can do this at home. You can do this at home. Oh, hopefulness, compassion, joy, and justice, understanding, connection humility and kindness oh, oh save the chat tonight bottom of the chat three little dots click on the little dots and click save chat you are going to want these these are beautiful thank you everybody so we just have one more little set of poems and a song so we'll ask you to close down the chat for now and um, I want to read a poem by our beloved and much revered and memorialized teacher Thich Nhat Hanh, the Buddhist monk and teacher who died uh, in January, a worldwide spiritual leader to so many people, including me. And during the, the war in Vietnam, he was a young monk and he organized other young monastics, monks and nuns, to be social activists which was very unusual in Buddhism, he had coined the phrase engaged Buddhism. His idea was in, if we are truly cultivating compassion and loving kindness, if we truly want to end suffering, why aren't we out in the streets doing it, yes? And doing it with mindfulness and with love. And this poem is, is it's, a, it's a real heartbreaker, but I think it's very important. He wrote it again in the middle of war and he and his friends had been sheltering children uh, to whose homes had been bombed or whose neighborhoods were not safe in a temple, in the Buddhist temple. And the children were sleeping there and they were also going to school there. Their teachers came and they were doing their best to keep going with their lives. And then the temple was bombed. So this is a poem by Thich Nhat Hanh. And Liz is going to put a link into um, the chat of a recent event that I was part of, of poetry and music honoring him 
and I sang at it and you might be interested. So she's going to pop it in the chat and then we're going to stop using the chat. <clears throat> Flesh and skin, bricks and tiles. The bombers are gone. Beneath a still sun in the dying light of noon, our ancient land stirs again. The curved temple roof is burnt out, crumpled. But Lord Buddha sits, his guilt all smeared, smiling ineffably at bricks and stones. The quiet dusk sends up a flute song as from my soul. Our school children had sought shelter in that temple where clouds now hover. Now they are gone, gone. Like those with heads of black and shiny hair, for they took the wounded away, and the dead will be buried tomorrow in the cemetery at the road's end. Oh, homeland. Oh, sisters and brothers. Your teeth are clenched. Still today, you bear your pain in silence. What else can you do? Where else can you go? Even the sea is too shallow for your sorrow. Oh, sisters and brothers, what will you do with these bullets and steel broken and burst in you? Oh, flesh and skin, bricks and tiles. Our past is here in the 20th century. Remember, remember. Is it true that this child, raised on potatoes and manioc roots of our poor land, that this child, born after the Geneva Peace Accords, this child whose laughter once resounded across spring fields whenever the evening bell was struck in the temple, this child, is it true? This child has been cruelly stripped of their right to become a man to become a woman. Thing is by Ellen Bass to love life the thing is to love life to love it even when you have no stomach for it and everything you've held dear crumbles like burnt paper in your hands your throat filled with the silt of it when grief sits with you its tropical heat thickening the air, heavy as water, more fit for gills than lungs. When grief weighs you like your own flesh, only more of it, an obesity of grief, you think, how can a body withstand this? Then you hold life like a face between your palms, a plain face, no charming smile, no violet eyes. And you say, yes, yes, I will take you. I will love you again. In Ukraine, in I believe 2014, a woman named Arena 
was living in her village and separatists uh, who separatist cells throughout Ukraine sometimes would do attacks on people or invasions. I'm, I'm sorry, my history is not good. I'm probably saying this wrong. But the point is, she tells the story of how in their village when the Russian soldiers or the separatist soldiers came in, that they offered them food. They cooked for them and offered them food. And they offered them clothes because they had been out, you know, in the, in the wild and were tired and dirty. And they gave them food and, and clothing. And they told them about their village. They told them how much they loved their village, the history of it, how attached they felt to it. And um, some of you may remember, I think uh, two weeks ago when we had our last session that I talked about the women of Liberia who also nonviolently in their villages greeted the, the, the warring soldiers as they came in and surrounded them and sang songs that reminded them of their childhood and the villages they grew up in. And they offered them clean clothes and a haircut and food and said, go home to your mothers. You're not meant to do this. So I want to sing one last, almost last song here together. May all beings be happy. This is loving kindness. This is the Brahma Viharas again, the four qualities. And this is the, the loving kindness. And it is the, what's called metta, wishing others well. So we will sing this together. Sending our loving kindness out to the world, the children, those brave people everywhere who love their land, love their village, love their life. May they all be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe. May all beings be safe and free. In peace, may all beings dwell simple melody. Try it with me. May all beings have shelter. May all beings have shelter. May all beings breathe deep. May all beings have food every day. May they feel love surround as they sleep, chorus. May it be so, may it be so, may it be so on earth. Sing it with me. May it be so, may it be so, may it be so.
So, my dears, um, in just a moment, we're going to close. We're going to run just about four minutes late. But um, Debbie and I are going to close with a beautiful blessing that is in the same spirit of what we just sang. It is a, the well-wishing of a bodhisattva. The bodhisattva is that being who returns to this life again and again, reincarnates again and again to help all to be free of suffering, to be free to be to the place where they can go to the, the heaven realms in the Buddhist um, way of seeing the, the cosmos. And so um, we're going to read the Bodhisattva vows of Shantidevi at the end. Um, I want to tell you that our next gathering is the first Thursday in April. We gather the first and third Thursdays. Um, my guest, I have a wonderful guest, Alice DiMaselli, who I've never had on our program. She is a beautiful singer very strong ecology, environment, Mother Earth climate um, voice. And um, since April is Earth Month, I'm devoting Earth Day Month for me. I'm devoting both our evenings to Earth Day. The second one will be Jim Scott from the Paul Winter Consort, the amazing guitarist, singer, songwriter, who is going to be, I think, live in this room with me. He's from the East Coast, but he's coming west as it happens. So we're going to do the evening together on Twilight and Lullabies for Mother Earth. Please, uh, I hope you can be generous tonight in your donations. It's a very special night to help out the folks um, in Ukraine and also Debbie. And Debbie, I want to thank you so much for what you have brought tonight. Just incredibly beautiful. Uh, we're not going to clap because it's just too loud. But if you want to give Debbie appreciation, give her those silent, you know, huzzas and, and thank yous and you're the best and come back and see us again. And here's some hugs. Yes. 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 Thanks, Betsy. No, it's been fantastic to be here yeah. with you. And, and I love that we're doing this back and forth oh, kind of thing. And, so th and thank you to everybody who's here and just send it out really nice peaceful energy into the world because we all need it and your instrument is called what debbie so it's called a hand pan and yeah. some other time i will talk about the hand pan but um this particular one is stainless steel and um yeah oh. each one is a different scale and Sometime I'll give a little blurb on it, but uh, yeah, hand please. pan. That'd be that would we'll we'll, we'll come, you'll come back another time when we're not doing this particular format, and you'll have more time. I would love to have you back. Perfect. So, my thank friends, you, thank you with all my heart for coming tonight. Thank you for all you're doing for peace. I know you've been donating. I know you've been you know I I don't know what you've been doing, but I know we're all engaged. And um, thank you for the teddy bear, Sylvia. So go in peace, and here is the blessing for all of us from Shantideva. May I be a guard for those who need protection. When I seek protection, may I find it and share it. May I be a boat, a raft, a bridge for those who wish to cross the flood. be a lamp in the darkness for all who seek it. May that light never extinguish from my own sight and my own heart. May I be a resting place for the weary and be healing medicine for all who are sick. the salve of others for my own afflictions, whether of the body or of the mind. Where others see scarcity, may I see a vase of plenty, a tree of miracles. As part of the boundless multitudes of living beings, may I bring sustenance and awakening, freedom from sorrow, and may I delight in our common existence.
enduring like the earth and sky until all beings are freed from sorrow and all are awakened, holding most tenderly those with broken hearts. Holding most tenderly those with broken hearts. Let us sit together in stillness and in love. Peace in my heart, that's where it starts. I am planting a seed of peace. Good night, my friends. Much love. Good night. Thank you, Betsy. You may all